Okay, okay. So on day 33, we talked about frequency, we talked about energy, and we talked about resonance. So I'm just going to do a really quick recap of day 33. So we all are on the same page. Basically, this is the concept. If you do not resonate at the same frequency of what it is you are manifesting, you will not emanate the right waves, let's just say, to change the energy in the world, in your in the universe, and rearrange it all and draw it into you so it will manifest in the 3D. So you must resonate at the same frequency so that you can reconfigure the energy and then manifest it into your third dimensional realm. Okay, so that's a really quick breakdown of day 33. Now, on day 34, which today then technically is a seven day in this journey, okay, it's a seven day in this journey, that's kind of a number, that's one of the numbers of completion. That is a number where we take a four, right, which is kind of home, life path, you know, like what's meant for your life, like it can be 1111, all these different things, like four is just a really good grounding, grounded number, peace, saving, protection, grounding, contemplation, like that kind of thing. So we're going to take that four energy and we're going to put it with the three energy of your divinity, right? So that's the triune being, that's body, soul, and spirit, mind, body, soul, mind, body, spirit, all being in one. And so we're going to bring all of this together then today um, and talk, start talking about what do we do as we are completing things? What do we do as we are um, seeing little manifestations, seeing little results coming from our work, right? From our manifestation work, from, and, and these things can be, so let's say you've been doing shadow work, right? Which I hope you have. So let's say you've been doing shadow work. And one thing you begin to notice then is that something that used to irritate you. Okay, so like no shade, no tea. If I have to say something to someone like multiple times, like more than three times, and they're like working with me, now my team, I have a problem. Because I feel like, okay, the first time I'm explaining it, the second time I'm kind of like going deeper, re-explaining it, like reaffirming it. Third time, you know, we're really sealing it in. And now if I'm saying it again, especially when it's like really close together, like we've had this discussion like a few times here in the last like week, two weeks, and we're having it again. Now there's a problem because I feel like you're not paying attention. Now, I used to get really upset about that. But now, you know, in my growth and doing shadow work and all that kind of stuff, realizing that a lot of that comes from that's how my father treated myself and my brothers and even my mom. Um, and it was there was like a huge amount of negative consequences that would be as a result of um, us not paying attention, you know, like corporal punishment type result like lots of fear, lots of issues, right? So because of that, that triggered responses in me. Even though I'm not throwing hands or anything like that, but that to me then it's like a high issue. It's a big deal for someone to after the third time, I'm still explaining this concept again. And that's a me thing. Now, it could be a them thing too. Maybe they're not paying attention. Maybe they don't understand. I don't know. But now after doing that shadow work and identifying that that's why that's a trigger. Now I look at it in a much more of a, okay, wait. Have I not properly explained this? What do, do you understand? Like, what do you understand? Or what don't you understand? Like, what is your comprehension? Like, how are you viewing this from your perspective of what I've asked to be done? And sometimes they could, the person could have a completely different perspective or they could want to do it in a completely different way 
that maybe, you know, takes longer, whatever. But then I understand a little bit more about them. Okay. So those little things that have nothing to do with anything else that I'm manifesting, like literally nothing, those little things make such a huge difference. Because then my day, the rest of my day, my life is just like so much more calm because I'm not like flying off the deep end, right? So I want you to acknowledge all of the little pieces that are beginning to come together. How are you more compassionate? How are you more compassionate towards yourself? What have you noticed about yourself that you do that self-sabotaging? How have you... Mm, how have you, have you seen any inklings of the manifestation of what you are working towards, right? Like, are you getting more clients? Are you getting more compliments at work? Um, are you beginning to see like that car that you really want? Like, are you beginning to see it out on the road like a lot? And are, are you like seeing where there's like maybe sales or, that maybe one's up for sale that's like used or something like that that's in really good condition or um, you just got a check in the mail that you're like, oh, you know what? I could use this to put this on a down payment. Or maybe you're starting to see housing prices go down. I don't know what it is, but are you, when you see little signs, right? When you see little signs within yourself and then you begin to see little signs elsewhere outside and some of these signs have nothing to do with what you're manifesting. Sometimes what will happen is when you get on that level, when you get on that frequency, you just start manifesting and ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Like it literally has nothing to do with anything that was on your bingo card. But something else popped up and you're like, oh, wait, I got bingo going, going diagonally to the lower right. When I was going for bingo going upward to the upper right hand corner. Do you understand? So that's what I want you to do. So what I want also would love for you to do, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment, leave me some comments about the little things that you are seeing all around you within your world or maybe externally that are proving to be like amazing. Like, holy cats, this is really happening. Like, little things that are manifesting that are making your life better that are making your life easier okay i want you can you take a moment just to do that for me really quick also while you're doing that hit that like button hit that heart hit that follow the plus sign hit the follow button hit the subscribe button while you're down there making that comment it really doesn't cost anything just go right down there and it will help the algorithm it will help other people begin to see this information and help them manifest their best lives as well. All right, guys, that's what I got for you for today. Every once in a while, we need to take a moment and just say, you know what? I've done good. All right, never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. See you soon. Bye.